Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by Spirit and Me 1111. It's your girl Stardust 1111 here to do your forecast, love and career reading, love and finances, shall I say, for the sign of Aquarius for July of 2019. Aquarius is an air sign, so this may also resonate with the Libra or Gemini as well, because air is your element. Tarot's time is always like to tell you guys things to be events that have already happened, that are currently taking place, but it will unfold for you all here in the near future. Aquarius, you can you are welcome to reverse the roles for my tarot because the tarot um, is gender neutral here on my channel for the most part. <laughs> Again, it's twenty day specific. Trust me, I'll let you guys know that time. I never blindsided you with any of this stuff, so. And for all of you who's been liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel, thank you so, so much. You guys are legit. I really appreciate it so much. Don't forget to hit that like button and also the bell notification if you'd like to be notified the next time I upload some content here to my channel. All right, so without further ado, ladies and beautiful, beautiful gentlemen of the world, I would like to get started with the reading for the Aquarius for their July 2019 love and finance reading spirit if you will give us some cards for sign of Aquarius for Aquarius for July 2019 it's a newer deck I'm using my crystal power tarot I'm going to be trying to give you information about the crystals on them it's not what I'm here for I'm just here to bring a tarot although I love my crystals but I don't know what I'm talking about them to be trying to educate people on them so <laughs> I'll leave that part for when and if I feel like getting into that a little bit later. Maybe. My cat has my candle. Really, Marshmallow? Really? All right, beautiful, lovely Aquarius. I won't shuffle too much on you guys, but I know you like it nice and shuffles. So, without further ado, let's get going for you guys. Let's rock it out, babies. Okay, Spirit, what do you have here for the Aquarius? Eight of Cups. You're walking away from something that no longer fulfills you. Okay, accepting change without resistance. You're just walking away, just finding your own path. Following your heart. These are Cups. That's Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Okay. Wow, then we got three swords back to back. Swords, swords, swords. Ooh, okay. So Aquarius, we start off with water energy, going right to the king of swords. And you got the king and queen of swords back to back. Wow. Look at you, Aquarius. Power couple. Both of you guys are probably somewhere working in law enforcement, the legal field, the justice system somewhere. But this is a couple. If, um, this is for, I guess, some of you guys. This could be a married couple. Some of you are married with your person, but you have a um, soulmate twin flame type a relationship and connection because the lover's card is here we'll get into that as we go um your king of swords here um, trust his ability to make a strategic decision you have someone that's very strategic and logical someone that's emotionally detached but when it comes to his divine counterpart you're just like him you're the queen of swords here aquarius your energy so you're matching your person energetically you guys are vibrating on the same frequency that's pretty good um, Queen of Swords, I protect what matters to me. Both of these guys have the ability to cut shit up, cut shit off, people off. They no longer serve them. Like, they have no problem doing that. The Queen of Swords has been through a lot, but she doesn't let her emotions affect her um, choices and decisions. Neither one of these guys. They make a really, really good couple. And they're the same suit from the same deck. And you guys saw I shuffled the shit on this deck, so that's pretty cool. You're matching your person. You and your person that you're watching about... Aquarius, that and, and this is more air energy, so that's really strong that your energy is popping like that. You got four swords out here already, just for your reading, and that's all air energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So we got the couple here, right? We got you matching your person vibrationally. Twin flame, soulmate. It's probably a twin flame. Twin flames are two souls separated as two different bodies, the same vibration. They share the same chakra system. So you're dealing with a twin flame. Aquarius, I'm going to tell you that to start off. Um, Page of Swords. This is a stalker type of energy, okay? It's taking care of the detail, watching you, watching you from afar, 
right? Somebody that's too probably mature um, to step forward and let you know like how they really feel. So they'll ask around about you. They'll ask people about you. They'll watch your social media. This person will even set up social media accounts just to check on you and see what you're doing. Because like I said, you guys have the same vibration. You are matching each other's chakra system with that um, the couple of the deck, right? The same exact suit, couple. That's really strong energy. The lovers, this is Gemini energy. It's also twin flame soulmate connection energy. So like I said, you guys share the same chakra system. So you have, you are having, some of you have a relationship with your twin flame here with the um, king and queen of swords here. And then the lovers, I trust my knowing and make a commitment. So your person in this reading, in this reading is walking away from something maybe somebody could be walking away from a job is walking away from something or someone that no longer served them and they're watching you they have their eyes on you they want to know what you're up to because they feel like making a commitment to you aquarius your person wants to be with you and sees you as their vibrational energetic vibrational match sees you as the mother of their children sees you as someone that they can marry that can be their equal here with the king and queen of swords okay from the same deck that king and queen from the same suit. That's strong energy, really strong. Okay, your person wants to take you serious, is in love with you, and feels that soul connection, that soul um, tie that you guys have to each other. The Empress. The Empress here is uh, Mother Gaia manifest in the physical, I like to call her. And again, it just confirms your person is very serious about you, sees you as abundant, sees you as a nurturer, a provider, a caretaker. The Empress gives birth to new ideas. She gives birth to new dreams. She literally physically gives birth to new life. He sees you as someone that he can have a long relationship and life with, a marriage, take care of his kids, nurture his kids, the ones you have already. Maybe he has kids already and bring your family together and you're the perfect woman to nurture and take care of that situation because you're the empress. He holds you on a pedestal, Aquarius. Okay, I create what I choose naturally and with joy, the empress here. So that's what's up. You're probably dealing with a Libra Taurus. That's what's up. Four of Swords, taking a rest from your person, okay? You take the time. You need to rediscover your vitality, okay? Restoring yourself, finding your comfort zone, finding your peace place, going within meditation. But you're on break from your person. You or your person has walked away, okay, from this. Has walked away from your connection and you're in separation from your person because you got the Eight of Cups and the Four of Swords and the Page of Swords. Your person that you are separated from is watching you right now has that stalking type of energy about him or her, about his or herself, and is watching you. Doesn't want to let go. Was not going to let go of you. Seeing you as the lovers, with that lover's energy, seeing you as the inference, um, and watching you. Not just walked away, like he's not going too far because he's watching you to see what you're doing to make sure no one else gets close enough to what he wants or she wants to call and make his or her own. Whatever you need to do with those energies here for your reading, Aquarius. If we can get clarifying for the sign of Aquarius, of the Four of Swords here, the Page of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. Um, whatever comes out, I'm going to read your cards accordingly. That's how I do over here on my channel, Spirit of Me. So it's nice to talk to Spirit and let them know what we want to clarify. So. And you have it. Four of Swords, Eight of Cups, and Page of Swords. Spirit, if you would clarify for the awesome air sign of Aquarius, we sure would appreciate that. Over here, Spirit of Me, I love you nothing. All right, let's get these guys their clarifiers and keep it moving, my lovely lovelies. Okay, so we're clarifying for the Aquarius for July 2019. Yep, you got two of wands here. Your person is looking towards, you know, forever with you, is looking at the longevity of the situation, is at a crossroads, wanting to make that decision here. Knowing that they've walked away from something and it's leading to that ultimate decision. Having that globe in his or her hand, it's like you have like unlimited possibilities, okay? When it comes to you, where you're at right now with that empress type of energy, whether this be you or your person, your person sees you as someone that they can take on the world with. Someone that they can take on the world with. Someone they want to bring the world to. Like give you all that you desire and then some. But it's more than that. Like it's not about materialistic things. It's about fulfilling your person and completing your person. When a person walks away from the Eight of Cups, you're walking away from something that no longer fulfills you. But the good thing about this card is you're going towards your heart. Following your heart. 
when you walk away. You're going towards something you desire, you passionately want. So, then you got the Two of Swords stalemate. There's, you're indecisive right now, Aquarius. There's something you need to make a decision about, and you're indecisive about it. So you've taken that break. You've fallen back from your person and your situation because you just can't make your mind up right now of a choice or a decision you need to make. Stalemate energy. Then you got Ace of Wands here. That's strong fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Strong fire energy here. Um, starting off Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, water energy. I may have said it a couple times, but I might, must say it again. Because sometimes when I watch my videos and I don't call these cards accordingly, it just gets to me. It gets to me. And the lover's card is the Gemini. I don't know if I've mentioned that. That's air energy. You got so much air energy here <laughs> in your regular spread. There's only two cards that's not air energy. The Emperor's and the Eight of Cups. It is what it is. <laughs> Ace of Wands, a brand new start, a passionate, fiery start. And this could also be about um, work. Somebody could have walked away from a job. Somebody could have walked away from a career, no longer serving them, and they're pursuing their dreams. You want to be an entrepreneur with the Emperor's. You know that you can do anything. You can give birth to new ideas. It's an ace. It's a new start. It's a brand new start for some of you. Um, the Empress in this card is pregnant and is holding her belly. Um, I don't see the Ace of Cups, but you have eight cups and Ace of Wands. Like I said, your person wants babies with you. <laughs> he wants you to be the mother of his children. He wants to give you that new start. He wants to bring you that new wife type of feeling. He wants to bring a newness and a fondness to your relationship and your situation. This could be someone you know or someone coming in. And the current energy that surrounds you and your person, your situation is the Five of Wands. Here, fire energy, Aries Leo Sag more fire energy so be careful someone's jealous of the connection here someone around you probably someone close to you is jealous of the connection there could just be a little stalker somewhere lurking whatever he walked away from or she could be stalking them and sitting back and jealous and waiting for an opportunity to pounce or attack or to come in like a wrecking ball and try to tear your shit up your situation what you've worked hard to build so just be careful aquarius These people are crazy <laughs> So, yeah, let me get a Romance Angels card for you. Awesome Air Signs of Aquarius to finish your reading off here. And let me know down in the comments section down below, guys, who this resonated with. I would love to know your story and a message from you guys. So, Spirit, if we can get the Aquarius A Lover Oracle card to finish their reading, we would all greatly appreciate that. Okay, here, Spirit and me. And let them know. Right, Aquarius? All right. So, cross watchers, you're always welcome. Thanks for dropping by. Whoever's out here watching for the Aquarius. So, let me know if you are cross watching. I've gotten a couple few of those. So, that's what's up, guys. So, Aquarius, July 2019. Spirits, let's go. For the Aquarius. All right, I'm going to get two cards for you guys because that's how I roll over here. My spirit of me, 11 11. <laughs> so we have soulmate. Who I told you, stop playing, stop playing. Hello, king and queen of the same suit, baby. King and queen of swords. Yes, the lovers. Yes, soulmates. Yes, that twin flame type of love. That's that soulmate connection. Yes, this is your soulmate. <laughs> Aquarius, yes, this is your soulmate. See, that's what's up. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. For some of you who are already dealing with the person, this is your soulmate. And for some of you, there's new love coming. New love. Ace of Wands, a new fiery, passionate start in love for some of you. Your person's coming, somebody's watching. They're waiting for their chance, their opportunity to come on in. So they got their eye on the Aquarius. That's what's up. That's what's going on with your July love reading. I hope someone got what they needed out of this reading. Thanks for stopping by Spirit and Me, 11-11. It's your girl Stardust. Namaste.